Hey guys, it's your girl Tony Blake from Do Tony Blake Projects. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode 29 of TTT. If you are new here, I've been sharing 30 tips on how to travel like an expert. I've been to 30 countries, 35 states, and just came up some with came up with some tips. I'm twisted today, y'all. Or I'm just cold. But it is nice out today, so I wanted to record outside because I'm always in a hotel room, right? But today is tip number 29. And so I know I told you in a previous tip to download a translation app. So this is for my international travelers. If you are traveling to a non-English speaking country or the country of your native tongue, I strongly suggest that you get familiar with the local lingo. Do I expect you to be fluid? No, but I want you to practice local words, okay? So stuff just can help you maneuver a little bit. So if you're going to a Spanish speaking country, saying hola, como estas? Um, me llamo Tony. You know, my name is Tony, like little things like that. I remember when I was moving to China, the company sent us a sheet of just general tips, um, words that will help us. Ni hao, hello. You say ni hao to a Chinese person and they think you're fluid. Yeah, they might start talking to you but um, in Chinese, but then, you know, you immediately ting budong, ting budong, So, learning local, just little words will help you survive. It's important for me to learn um, certain words, especially when it comes to my food. I need to know how to eat, <laughs> okay? So, I'm studying those words when it comes to food that, um, that I want to eat. So like when I first moved to China, I didn't eat meat. I immediately needed to know, looking up, what's the word for meat? Do not, you know? Buyaro, buyaro, you know? So surviving. It will make your life a whole lot easier in addition to your translation app, all right? So today's tip is to learn local lingo, all right? See you guys tomorrow for the final episode of TTT. Hope you guys found these tips helpful. See you tomorrow.